good afternoon. All right, so it is three o'clock on Tuesday. I'm in the suburbs just north of Atlanta, Georgia. That's in America. My best friend from high school is getting married. Two o'clock, Friday, Glasgow, Scotland. I've got three days, 4,000 miles. We'll see how we get there. One of the worst parts about living in the American South is the car-centric culture. I live about a 25 minute drive from work. If I wanted to take public transit, I would have a 25 minute walk just to the bus stop and then about three hours of transit to get to my job. That's just not something that I can do. So when I have an opportunity to take transit, like vacation, I'm gonna. Even if that means an hour walk to the train station, it's probably still better than sitting in that traffic. And that's not to even mention paying $30 a day to park at Atlanta airport if you can even find a spot. So yeah, it sucks, but I still think it's better than the alternative. I guess there is a middle ground. I could have driven to Marta and parked in the garage, paid $8 a day at this station, $5 at something. That's still $40 to $50 for the amount of time that I've gone away. Yeah, I'll walk an hour, even if it's 30 million degrees outside. So here is the fun part. The train doesn't take you to the international terminal and I'm flying international. So now I'm outside waiting for a different bus to take me another 15 minutes to get me to the right terminal. Cool beans. I feel like miles in transit would hate this bus. Dots and rattly handicapped accessibility. But it's free. Thank you, man. Thank you. Well done, America. I managed to make a 45 minute drive in about two and a half hours. Here I am at the International Airport. Let's go drop my bag and uh, see what we're flying today. Cool. Already checked in getting ready to go through security wasn't too bad of a queue only one person in front of me unfortunately his bag was too heavy and now he has to work out how he's going to be able to ship his package to sweden oh that sucks for him we are through security it only took about 35 minutes i guess it's not that busy but they only had one row open but we're here uh boarding begins in about 10 minutes and we are ready to go to copenhagen Woo! Thank you. See, see this idea, sir? I'm on board. I actually chose to upgrade to premium economy for this flight, and I think I'm going to have an empty seat next to me. It's uh, overnight, it's going to be about nine hours of flying today. 
and I'm going to be glad of the extra space and the better food. So we'll see how it goes. They just announced boarding is complete. It's about 25 minutes before our departure time. And well, this premium economy cabin is empty as heck. So I think this should be a pretty comfortable flight. I just watched a couple get pushed all the way back from business. They tried to seat themselves in premium economy and pushed even further back into regular economy. I wonder if self-upgrading ever works. Hopefully get some food soon and then maybe I can take a nap. I'm excited. So with SAS Plus, I got a little amenity kit, a little shoe bag, eye mask, earplugs, toothpaste, toothbrush, and each seat came with a blanket and a pillow and a bottle of water. So, you know, not bad pre-dinner snack and drink. They did offer beer, wine, soda, but I kind of want to sleep. So, just some chips and water. were mashed potatoes a little grain salad pretty good yeah honestly worth the premium I would say landing they bring me a nice little breakfast two whole pieces of fruit cheese meat vegetables Greek yogurt granola Scandinavian Airlines Systems Premium Economy Atlanta to Copenhagen Transatlantic their brand new service how was it was it worth the money so let's talk about the money I paid 140 US dollars extra to upgrade into the premium economy and for that instead of just the one meal I got a three course meal and a better breakfast I got a larger seat I got a blanket a pillow the little amenity kit I got to board a little earlier. 
I think I have access to the lounge in Copenhagen Airport. We'll find out when I go back there later this afternoon. And yeah, $140 was a great, great price for that. Especially since there were about 15 seats left empty in that cabin, and it's not a big cabin, so plenty of space. I would definitely do that again. It's about 10.30 and I'm in downtown Copenhagen. I have kind of like a nine hour layover here, which I booked deliberately, but I was expecting the weather to be a little bit nicer. Time to do a canal boat tour with nettle boats. It's been raining all morning, so I'm kind of glad that I've got one with a roof. Let's see what we see. No bridge, watch your head. So I do have to admit, this itinerary is stupid. If I was traveling with anybody else, I would absolutely not do this. Traveling for a wedding, you think you want to maximize your time at the place where the wedding is. Nah, especially not when the price of the direct flight is about $2,000 and I was able to book my flights for under $800 and that included seat selection, checked bag, all that. But it does mean stupid things. Overnight flight, nine hour layover in Copenhagen, flying into the wrong city in Scotland from where I need to be. But why not turn that into the advantages? Copenhagen is gorgeous. I'm gonna have to come back here and spend some more time.
one of the nice things about flying in premium economy this morning is you get access to the lounge on arrival in Copenhagen Airport. I arrived at 9 a.m., but they still let me in when I got back to the airport at 4, so that's pretty nice. Falling asleep a little bit, though. Just a little exhausted. <laughs> I'm in F. It's up. <laughs> Thank you. It's our last flight of the day. Loaded up. It is about 6 p.m. here in Copenhagen. We're about to take an hour and 25 minute flight over to Aberdeen. And even better, seat is empty next to me again. Feeling a little lazy. I was going to walk. It's only about a 20 minute walk to my hotel. But that rain, that cold, that I'm not used to. Ah, two pounds for the bus. Thank you very much. All right, my day one travel day is done. I've made it to my hotel and I can't talk about it. I'm here on a team member right because uh, I work for Hilton. So I can't say anything good or bad. But I'm here. It was a long day. I left work 25 hours ago and I made it to my hotel for the night. But I'm still not done. I've still got to make it from Aberdeen to Glasgow tomorrow morning for the wedding on Friday. So still a little bit more traveling to come, but hopefully a lot less exhausting until it's time to go home. Anyway, I am done traveling. I've taken a shower, I feel a million times better, and now I'm gonna go downstairs to the hotel restaurant, have a quick bite to eat, and then sleep for about four years. <laughs>